Good morning, brothers and sisters. Colossians 1 verse 10 says, Bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Your fruitfulness is directly related to your knowledge of divine truth. Every farmer who enjoys a plentiful harvest does so only after diligent effort on his part. He must cultivate the soil, plant the seed, then nurture it to maturity. Each step is thoughtful, disciplined, and orderly. Bearing spiritual fruit is not an unthinking or haphazard process. It requires us to be diligent in pursuing the knowledge of God's will, which is revealed in His Word. That is Paul's prayer in Colossians 1.9, which he reiterates in verse 10. The phrase, increasing in the knowledge of God, verse 10, can be translated increasing by the knowledge of God. Both renderings are acceptable. The first emphasizes the need to grow. The second emphasizes the role that knowledge plays in your spiritual growth. As your knowledge of God's word increases, the Holy Spirit renews your mind and transforms your thinking. As you gaze into the glory of the Lord as revealed in scripture, you are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, 2 Corinthians 3.18. You have put on the new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him, Colossians 3.10. One of Satan's ploys to retard spiritual productivity is getting Christians preoccupied with humanistic philosophy and other bankrupt substitutes for God's truth. That's why he planted false teachers in Colossae to teach that knowing God's will is inadequate for true spirituality. Paul refuted that claim by affirming that Christ is the fullness of deity in bodily form. In him are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, Colossians 2.3. He is all you need. Scripture commands you to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Is that characteristic of your life? Are you looking forward to a bountiful spiritual harvest? God bless.